good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new WWE Elite Greatest Hits Series Number 2, King Harley Race and Seth Rollins figures. Now, both of these come in. These are re-releases, all right? The Greatest Hits Wave, we saw these back in L.A. on WrestleMania 39 weekend. Was there in person to see Series 2 revealed. King Harley Race and Seth Rollins were there. This line is pretty controversial, I would say. It's probably the most controversial line going right now in WWE and Mattel. You just have so many ways to think about this line. You have people that say, I hate this line because it devalues the original of the figures, which I totally get. And then I see the other side of it, where it's like, you know, you have new collectors jumping in every single day, and they're saying, there's no damn way I'm paying $300 for that King Harley race. And then they re-release it here to get that money. And you know, Mattel's a business at the end of the day, and so they capitalized on that. And I think it's pretty genius business. And it's not like it's exactly the same as far as men on card things go. I mean, this figure is pretty much identical to the OG, and I don't even own the OG, so hey, I get it, fine. No, but I do understand re-releasing figures. I don't like that they're doing like a best of Ultimate Editions already, so I totally understand where you're coming from, but if you guys want to get in on these already, over to Ringside Collectibles, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. I'd greatly appreciate it. But this Seth Rollins figure, was this this figure right here was one of my biggest disappointments, man. I even asked Mattel directly why they didn't give it to us with an updated for it. This figure right here could be so good if they redid it in the current Seth Rollins Elite Formula. They didn't do it that way, obviously. Here it is. It's pretty much the exact same figure as before. And I'll tell you, the Cash and Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins figure, one of my favorite base WWE elites of all time. I just love the packaging. I love the figure itself, but it has a, it hasn't aged poorly, I'd say, but you could fix it up so much better, and we're going to get into those comparisons. The Elite 37 head sculpt that it had originally was one of my favorite Rollins head sculpts, so I'm all on board with this figure. I just wish they had updated it, but nonetheless, here's the front viewing window. It's basically your standard Elite packaging, except at the top here. You guys will see that it says Greatest Hits up there, but on the side, you do get a picture of King Harley Race and Seth Rollins. On the back, you get an image of Seth Rollins cashing in. You get King Harley Race. You get the rest of the figures in the wave. You get their names, and that is pretty much our packaging. So let's shut the hell up, crack these guys out of their packaging, and find out what these re-release Greatest Hits figures are all about. So here is King Harley Race and Seth freaking Rollins out of their packaging, man. Really enjoying the Harley Race. You know, I've never owned this figure before, so taking him out, getting to play around with him, and seeing how he poses around, how he feels in hand, stuff like that. Really impressed with it so far, you know? I've owned the Seth Rollins so many times, but getting to see some of the updates, some of the changes, comparisons, things of that nature has been interesting for sure, and I can't wait to get into those with you, but what we're going to do is run through King Harley Race's accessories and King Harley Race, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Rollins' accessories and Seth Rollins' get into the comparisons of course i don't own the og harley race so i can't compare it so i do apologize for that but you know what brad i never found it it was one of those figures the reason this figure is in this line is because it was not widely available to the public you know like some people just stumbled across it one day and a lot of people did not and that is why it was so rare but let's get into the accessories and then we'll dive into the figure all right guys so for king harley race's accessories you don't get groundbreaking, earth-shattering, life-changing accessories, I'm going to be honest with you. You do get this massive, massive overcoat deal that you guys saw on him in the packaging. It has a very rubber-like smell. You get the little tab here that unplugs. But, I mean, you got just like a Wade Barrett coat deal going on. You get like some nice, you know, I guess dots going on. It's got fur on it, but... It's just one big moldy piece of garbage. Look at it. I mean, if you're just going to sit him there on display, I guess it works, but I don't give a damn about this, man. Give me an Ultimate Edition Harley Race with a nice cloth cape entrance deal. It would be fantastic. You also get this beautiful crown, which looks good. You get some nice details going on with it. Red, purple, gold, white, black. It looks really good, and it's kind of, like, pliable, and it will go on the head sculpt, so, you know, like, it, it won't, like, just absorb it, but you can push it down on there, and it's not gonna fall off, so that's, I mean, that's really all you ask for. So you can shove it on there and have King Harley Race right there, so yeah, it kind of creates, like, a suction cup. Doesn't fit as nice as I'd like, but it's not going anywhere, so I guess, you know, you have that working out for you. Looks like 
John C. Riley. Outside of that, you get Fisted Hands and the always sexy Mike Holding Hand. Alright guys, so getting into the John C. Riley action figure, I like the head sculpt. I think it does look like King Harley Race. Uh, like, I like the likeness. I, I think it looks a bit more realistic. I've heard people say they prefer the original head sculpt over this one. I can't really say that because I've never had that one in hand, but from photos, maybe I could see that, you know, but going down to the torso, I like this torso choice for him. I think it's very accurate. Honestly, th they may be able to use this for like a solo Sokoa. I know that it doesn't necessarily need to, but if you put him with the right formula and the skin tone and the tattoos and stuff and you put the right shorts and stuff on him, I could see them using this for solo Sokoa, but he does have his tattoos on there. I like the, the jacked arms. He's like that old man, kind of cock strong sort of look to him, you know, but he's looking good. He's got his double jointed arms, tattoos on there. Looking dang snazzy. I like it. Purple gear. Got the crown on there. I do believe it is supposed to be off-centered, so that's that. He is supposed to have, like, those old-school, old-man style trunks on that, like, go above the belly button. But, you know what? Who am I? Legs look pretty good. They are on pinecone joints. He's got purple knee pads, the socks, and then he's got these really clean, light purple boots with the crowns and the gold laces. These are fire boots. I actually like these boots a hell of a lot. Like, very, very clean stuff going on there. King Harley Race knew how to treat himself like a damn king. But I am really enjoying this guy. You know, outside of his, like, kind of stiff legs because he's on pinecone pine joints, he feels really good in Hand, and I've actually enjoyed posing this guy around a hell of a lot. Like he's he's a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Like I, I think it'd be cool to see somebody do like an old school pick fed or something like that, and have King Harley Race just beating the hell out of everybody. But saying King Harley Race makes me think we need a we need an elite or an ultimate Jimmy King figure, man. Give me the freaking David Arquette Jimmy King Ultimate Edition two pack for SDCC. You want to shatter the stratosphere, of the wrestling figure universe? Ultimate Edition two pack David Arquette and Jimmy King. But this this King Harley Race is a boss. I actually like this figure a lot. I'm pretty impressed with it. I think he's going to do well in our figure ranking of this entire set. And then for Seth Rollins' accessories, you get two pairs of interchangeable hands, a Money in the Bank briefcase that's way too damn big, and a WWE Championship that is not like the original that he came with. This is the newer mold WWE Championship. I think it started in like Elite 46 with Elite Sheamus. It's like Elite 46 Sheamus, I think, is the first figure that came with this newly molded championship. I want to say it was in commemoration of him cashing in on Roman Reigns to win the title and he had like the mock Austin 316 shirt. I think that is the first figure it came with which makes it kind of weird because this still feels slightly new which is kind of insanity but that is not how the championship was when this cash in figure released. It used to be one singular mold with not like these plates were not removable and it was like one singular mold. I wish I had one on me. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Unfortunately I couldn't find it but people know what I'm talking about. I think I threw them all away because they were hideous. But Mattel says that they didn't want to create a new figure and all this stuff, but they give us a newer championship, and then they throw in this old version of the, the Money in the Bank briefcase, which, since this figure has come out, like, <laughs> Mattel used to give us these giant-ass briefcases, bro. This is a damn traveling suitcase, alright? This is way too big. Not even close to, to scale. They recreated it in, like, those Chase Money in the Bank basic figures, and that was way more accurate. That's the reason you guys will see later in the video, I put on my cash-in set on my shelf, I put it with the accurate Money in the Bank briefcase. So th these are the things that I'm talking about. Like, why couldn't they at least give us this with Seth Rollins side plates or something like that? Or hell, even Brock Lesnar's side plates would have been accurate to the cash-in. Just so many things. We're gonna get into it when we talk about the figure, but I don't know, at least you get a Money in the Bank. Like, when I look at this, these accessories, I just feel like I've stepped in a time portal. And I guess that's what's the point of this line, maybe? I don't know. You also get sexy mic holding hands, which, I mean, Jesus. Just painted black hands. I guess it's better than having a pig color, like skin tone, but give us our true glove sculpted hands on this figure. It would look so damn good. The details would look so good, but... That's what they need to do when they redo this figure. And then you get the lovable fist. You get two of them. Uh, God in heaven. Alright, so getting into the Seth Rollins figure, starting out with the head sculpt. It's pretty much the Elite 37, except with true effects applied. I can show you guys right quick on my original cash-in. Here is the original. You guys can see, quite cartoony. I still love this head sculpt. And then you have this version, which obviously is just the true effects version. And they both look good. You know, I like both of them. But you do get a little bit more detail here with the new, you know, refocused version here. Or the re-release Greatest Hits. But... I like it, but going down, one thing they could have done instantly to improve this figure would be chest hair. 
but that is not what originally the figure had and everything like that. He also, you know, he's got double jointed arms now instead of the single jointed that it used to have. He's got black wrist tape and gloves. Imagine how much cooler it would be to have like removable Rey Mysterio style gauntlets or gold st gold dust style gauntlets with R Truth Elite 78 hands or just some sculpted gloved hands. Then you have the painted on SR onto the onto the crotch, which is what we had last time. This gold is darker than it was on the original. If you guys wanted to see that, I think. I think that the original looks better and more accurate to me, but, you know, it's more lighter. I also switched to knee pads. It used to have these style knee pads, and also on the original, they weren't like this. They were, like, more towards the edges, so they did, like, refocus that, and then they have the plain black kick pads here, so, you know, there are some differences between the original and the greatest hits, and he does pose around really well. I mean, he's on ball joints. He's got double jointed arms. Like, you're gonna be able to get this guy in any pose. I don't really care about the articulation, though, because it's more about what this figure could be for me and I just think that you could do so many better things with this like this is my fix up to the original cash in and you guys can see I added stomach hair I added gauntlets I added bigger arms he used to have like these skinny arms on there that looked terrible but I put like regular like at the time they were updated Seth Rollins elite arms and then I put gold dust gauntlets and sculpted glove hands on there which make it look so much better in detail and I gave him open knee pads so now I'm in the market for getting it like what sucks about collecting for so long is you do these custom fix-ups, like my John Cena's, right? I have all these custom armbands and custom Cena's, but now that John Cena's have pinless double-jointed arms and they have sculpted wristbands, so it's like should I go back and do every other like every single Cena again with double-jointed pinless arms and painted on actual sculpted removable wristbands and stuff? It's just a long, heavy road. Like with this Seth Rollins, now do I need to go back with all of my Seth Rollins that I have and have them in the updated form it's just so many things, man. So it sucks about collecting for so long rather than jumping in now. But for your Seth Rollins figure comparisons. So here's all of my Seths in this style gear or using this base figure. I have this like fantasy gear over here using like Elite 57 arms and like a fan take over head sculpt. You have my like defining moments cash in Seth Rollins fix up here that did have the, uh, the chase briefcase. So here's the regular, like this is what the Mattel gave us and this is the more accurate version version like look at the gigantic difference that you're seeing here isn't this ridiculous see how much better this looks i need to paint the handle black to be honest with you but why not just throw this version in i i don't know I, it, it, who am i but you have the greatest hits here then you have my other 2015 fix up again i added accurate knee pads. i painted gold on the kick pads i gave him the entrance vest i gave him the updated wwe championship bigger arms gauntlets over here gloves sculpted hands so you can see the potential for what they could do with this figure. I mean, even throwing in a vest would have been cool, just repainting the Elite 45 vest. And then we have, like, my 2018 singles Rollins when he was IC champion, and I pretty much just got another one of these figures and painted it up and uh, removed the SR and put the belt buckle on there, gave him chest hair, gave him an updated head sculpt. So, like, you know, I've been in the long game with these Rollins for a very long time. It's one of my favorite parts of the collection, but imagine for a moment you were to take an updated Seth Rollins formula. This is the, I think this is the top talents of the Elite 93 here. I think it's the Elite 93. I plan on turning this into this figure what it should be. So the chest hair, the double jointed arms, sculpted glove hands from an AEW Sting figure as you guys can see. I plan on uh, painting up the tights. I have my buddy Dan Turnquist making me a custom belt. This one is just a prototype. I'm going to fix it up, make it a little bit better. I'm going to remove this paint. I'm going to paint it up like this, have this custom belt, give him gauntlets here, pop this head sculpt over here. Let's just see what it looks like and just kind of give us an idea of what we could be witnessing in the future here. So putting this head sculpt over here. I already know this is going to look so freaking sweet. Look at this right here. Dude, look at that right there. Look at how good this is going to look when it's completed. Oh my god, it's going to run just... Just it's gonna run circles around this uh, this OG formula with the chest hair and the beefier legs and the more accurate man. This is gonna be a beast. I can't wait to finish this man. I was waiting on this figure to put this head sculpt on here. Now I know for a fact I'm putting this this cash in greatest hits head sculpt on there. Oh what a project! But that does it for your Seth Rollins Elite figure comparison. But I think that pretty much wraps up our two in one WWE Elite series review on the WWE Elite Greatest Hits series two Seth Rollins and Harley Race figure. Really impressed with Harley Race. I didn't expect to like this figure as much as I do. I think that if you don't have this figure, I'd recommend it. I, I actually like it a whole lot. I think it's very fun to pose around. It's not as stiff as I was imagining.
imagining. I think he looks super bad, eh? I think he could kick my ass in my sleep. You know, his legs are a bit stiff, but that's what you expect out of some pine cone joints. I think if he was on ball joints, he'd be immaculate. He's still a really good figure. I've enjoyed it. Can't wait to rank this series when we get to the, you know, to the freaking end of it. But the Seth Rollins figure, you know, I enjoyed the first go around. I enjoyed this figure. I just think there's so much they could have done to make it better, and I think they should explore that. I think Mattel definitely needs to get out there and make a defining moments or something sort of figure out of this. I love that it has double jointed arms. Like, I love Seth Rollins. I love this era of Seth Rollins. I think that it was a great figure to begin with, and I love it here, but I don't know, man. I would, I'd honestly say, go get the original. You know what I mean? I think in this case, it's one that they should have just left alone. I say, go get the original. It had better packaging. The gold, I like... I think the gold was more accurate on that figure. I just like it better, man. I, I, I really do. I mean, of course, you do have double-jointed arms here, and the head sculpt's probably slightly better, but I don't think it was necessary. You know what I mean? I just think that making a custom or going to get the original would be just as fine, and I don't know. That's just where I stand on it. I think that maybe even just doing something different. I know that this is like a re-release wave, but I think adding a couple tweaks here and there to the figures would add so much more to the line and make people search it out more. I don't know. I'm just giving in my two cents, but if you guys want this look of Seth Rollins, you don't want to track down the original. I really thought this would be Elite 45 Rollins, in all honesty, that would be on an updated formula. I was looking forward to this release so much, and then giving us this old rehashed Rollins that doesn't even have chest hair, you know, there's just so many things that they could have updated about this figure, which we've discussed in this video. Uh, nonetheless, man, that's going to wrap this video up. If you guys are interested in the figures, definitely go grab them at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Huge shout out to our patron army. Shout out to my damn patrons. Huge shout out to those guys. Thank you guys so very much for your support. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, definitely go check it out. Link in the description below. But I'm getting out of here, man. That is going to wrap this video up. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you in the next video.